Hi. Hi. I'm Edward. I'm Jess. All right. Today, chai. Tea for two. We're both drinking chai. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. God, that's cheesy. That's horribly cheesy, but... What? That wasn't cheesy. We do that all the time. We do. It's, <laughs> it's very chai -y. Anyway, yeah. hey. Welcome, everybody. Uh, heavy cardboard. A little lunchtime thinky filler. Today, we're busting out a little chai. Tea for two. Uh, designed by Connie and Dan Kazmaier and published by their company, which is Steep Games. So welcome, everybody, watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. Why don't you spam them with what they're supposed to do while I drink? Oh, well, like and subscribe to the channel if you want to <sighs> see more great content like this and support the show over at PledgeHC.com for some great benefits. Among them, the ability to join into the patron-only Slack channel where we keep conversations like this going. It's really fun over there. Lots of channels. We even dive into video games, cooking. Books, a lot books, of books. Yeah, lot of books. there's books over books. there, and of course, a lot of board game chatter. So, so with that said, chai tea for two. <laughs> we did a playthrough of the original chai, well, a prototype of it, and the, this is a prototype, but it's getting to the point now in the board game industry where prototypes and published editions very similar. Uh, so this one's awfully fancy. Awfully really nice. fancy. Mm -hmm. um, but with that said, it's currently on Kickstarter. Be sure to check the Kickstarter for artwork changes, rule changes, component changes, stretch goals, all that fine stuff. So keep an eye out for that. But that and the link is down below. Mm -hmm. That said, uh, you want to teach us today or am I? It's up to you. No, it's on you. you okay, I guess I'm teaching. All right, cool. Um, I'll read the intro. Okay, done. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Are you all ready? Hopefully. Let's get into it. Chai, tea for two. As countries look for their next cup of tea, set sail your most delicious brews in chai, tea for two. Facing off as opposing tea merchants, both players strive for the most victory points by securing tea clipper contracts and improving their tea plantation. Producing green, white, oolong, yellow, black, and the dark pours, it's a race. It's a race. All right. So we will leave it up to the peanut gallery to determine the length of the game, but we will we will go ahead and go over that once we actually go over what it is that we're looking at out here. All right, so first off, we have our tea plantations. We are tea merchants. So whenever we say merchants, that's going to be Jess's area, my area. I'm playing red, obviously. Jess is playing blue. We have characters that are represent our merchants there. All right. In addition to that, we have the various uh, column boards out here. It is actually a five-piece board. One, two, three, four, five. And it's going to be an action selection game or a dice placement game in which these are going to be our tea workers that will go out here, get us tea, uh, eventually ship out tea on ships, which these ships are going to be the timer for the game. All right, so how does a game actually work? Well, let me back up. We had mentioned that it's a race, right? Mm -hmm. The goal of the game is to complete a number of ships depending on what the peanut gallery dictates. It's either going to be the first player to complete the recipes, if you will, recipe fulfillment or tea fulfillment, as it were, of three, four, really, wait, four, let's try that again, or five mm -hmm. different ships. First player to do that wins the game. Mm -hmm. Simple enough. Now, how do we go about doing that? Well, the game takes place over an indeterminate number of rounds, and there will be four steps or four phases during each of those rounds. The first one is whoever is going to be the first player, which handy dandy little, like almost like a challenge coin-ish, but uh, enamel coin here, whoever has this is going to be the first player. And what's going to happen at that point is they're going to take the, oh shoot, what's his name? Uh, I think his name is Steve, but T assistants will go with, or Steve, whichever. He can move one, two, or three clockwise 
of these markers over here. What's going to happen with those is you get whatever is pictured on it. And by you, I mean both merchants, both Jess and I will get that. So if Jess chose, say, this one over here, it would be one blue tea, one black tea, which the blue is oolong, I think. All right? Yes. So we each would get one of these tea from the supply, and then you notice the number. So let's go ahead and zoom in, let's say, on Jess's board to start with. All right? So if you take a look at the actual player boards, you'll notice that all T is going to actually start down here at the bottom spot. So whenever Jess gets some T, so for instance, she would get a black T and a, I believe it's oolong, so we'll go with that. There we go. Then what's going to happen is if whoever the first player is chose the six, you're then going to get a mix of one of two things. Either you're going to get uh, extra T, up to six extra T, but they all must be different types. And you'll notice that there are six different types of T available. So you could get one of every T to put down at the bottom of your board if you so desire, all right? Or if you choose, you get T movement. So it's a mix and match however you wanna do it. So for instance, if Jess says, I wanna take some movement of these six that I get, You'll notice that there's going to be a pathway. The goal is to move this T all the way up to the docks, to where the ships are going to dock. And there are three spots available for ships to dock. So you'll notice Jess has up to six T movement. So the black can only move up this way, whereas the yellow, green, and purple can only move up this way. So moving up one, that's one of the six movement. That could be two, that could be three, that could be four, five, six, something like that, but Jess would get no extra T with that. Or she could have, let's say, only done four and then grabbed two other T. However, mm -hmm. and that T would come to the bottom here. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, now, if as we go along, your T makes it up here, it's going to be on the dock awaiting a ship. More on that here in a little bit, but when that's done, after both of us have done this, what's going to happen is we're going to take this marker, and we're going to flip it over, and put it into the farthest spot on the opposite edge clockwise. So from here clockwise all the way over, that is the furthest spot. So then when we get around to the next round, then let's say we move three more, one, two, three, we both get to do this with the three there, and the furthest clockwise would then be there, so on and so forth, you get the idea. And then moving three would be one, two, or three, up to three movement, so on and so forth. If you s land on one of these, it would then, so in that case, in the next round, it'd go one, two, three. We each would get a white or and a black, and one movement or T, and then the furthest clockwise is not here sequentially, yes, but no, furthest clockwise would actually be all there on the opposite side. It's always going to flip sides and be the furthest clockwise. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, good. So now that I've butchered this, let's try and get that reset back up. There we go. So that is going to be phase one that's going to happen every round and it affects both players regardless of who is the first player. However, the first player gets to dictate, the first player gets to dictate where the T assistant moves, whether it's one, two, or three spots. Easy enough? Yes. All right, step two, roll them bones. So we all roll, okay, so for instance, there we go, we rolled, that's actually really good for the example, so well done me. All right, step three is starting with whoever is the first player, now it's going to be the worker placement or the dice placement or the action selection part of the game. That makes sense? Yes. All right, now earlier, I had mentioned that there are five different boards up here. Well, this is where our dice are going to go. The easiest way to explain this is to go through what the various actions are, and we'll go through them left to right, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so starting, starting with the far left spot, and I'm looking for my little pointer here. There we go, got it, because there we go. All right, you'll notice that there is a lightning bolt at the top of this one, there is a lightning bolt at the top of this one, and there is a lightning bolt on the top 
of this one. So what does that mean? That means that when you place a die on any of these three boards, they trigger immediately, okay? Yes. Whereas, when we get over to these two boards, there is, there's a little uh, sand timer. That means those will trigger at the end of a round, or at the end of the year, or the end of the round. So, that said, let's go ahead, talk about this board here on the left, and straighten that up, get everything, there we go. So, what this says is if you place a die here, regardless of the value of the die, and there is an unlimited number of spaces that can go here, you get one T of your choice down at the bottom of your board. Very simple, boom, yes. done. All right. The second board is going to be you place a die that is equal to or higher than the value of the die shown, and then you take the card associated with it. Pretty simple. Yeah. So this one, you literally can place any one die. However, these are worker placement ask, meaning when someone has gone there, it has taken that spot and they will have taken that card. So you cannot displace them and you cannot go there. Mm -hmm. Simple enough. So the five spot, only a five or six can go on there, so on and so forth. You're going to play, we're going to alternate placing one die at a time, boom, 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 back and forth until we're all out of dice for... ADD girl. All right, so getting back to this, let's go over what you do. When you place a die out here, you're going to take the card. So for instance, let me go ahead and grab that card right there, handy dandy little grabber there, all right? So when you grab that card, you're then going to put it onto one of 11 spots around your board. Now, why are there 11? There are three down here at the bottom, that's three. There's four on each side, that'd be 11. There are three more spots along the top, but those are all for ships. So let's say I go ahead and put this over there. Now what that card, that Earl Grey card is going to do for me, anytime you see the little cuppa with a star in it, that's going to be worth some number of victory points. In this case, that's going to be worth one victory point at the end of the game. However, this also is going to afford you bonus movement. So for instance, if I have, let's say I have a couple of black tea down here at the bottom. So in that case, when I place this card or when uh, there is, I place T here, I'm able to move my T, one of my T up based on what matches. So in this case, it's black, so it has to go up this way, boop, that's done. Now notice it has no other symbol over here to the left-hand side. That means this card will stay face up, and that's it. So every time there is a black T here, it will stay face up, so technically be able to do like so. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. However, there are other cards out there that do different things. And here you go, this is a good example. So this scented tea, which looks like maybe uh, with rose hips mixed oh, yeah. in, possibly. Mm -hmm. All right, so what this is is very similar in that it will move up a blue tea when you do so. However, you'll see this symbol right here. That symbol says it's a kind of a one-time use, sort of. So what's going to happen is when someone places a six on there, like so, so if it were something along the lines of like that, when that activates, when that triggers, we're going to flip that over like so. And only when we're able to flip this back face up will it then reactivate and be possible as that one-time use. You don't get rid of it, you just turn it face down. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, good, excellent, good. We'll put that back, we'll put that back. Easy enough. Now, if you wish to, Put a card where a card already is, you discard that card, you forfeit those points, so on and so forth. Any questions about that board at all? Yeah. Which those are the tea plantations, mm -hmm. all right? Or I'm sorry, the market board, I apologize. So we have the harvest board and the market board. Okay. There. All right. Now there are a bunch of other cards. We will be disc. Uh, we will be filling in, sliding down from here, filling in the five. The four will become the three, so on and so forth. As those get taken at the end of a round, we'll talk more about that here in a little bit. All right. So moving on to the next board. The next board is the palace board. And the palace board has the palace on it. Shockingly. All right. So there are four different spots 
or four different things that you can do on the palace board. All of these require placing one die, just like the other two require placing one die. There is this group of four, this group of four, a single and a single. All right, so let's go ahead and start with these first off, and obviously they are limited to one die in a given year. Take the first player marker. Normally, the first player marker will alternate between the players, mm -hmm. but if somebody goes there, that trumps that, they, they get to keep it or mm -hmm. they get to take it, whatever it is. This one, remember earlier I said you if you have that symbol, it's going to flip face down? This says you get to flip all of your face down tea plantation cards face up. Nice. That's a really, really nice one. Then there are four spots available over here. This symbol there says you're allowed to move one plantation card to any other spot on your board. That's the only time that, well, one of the only times that you're going to be able to actually move a board or a card that's already on your board, mm -hmm. or adjacent to your board, I guess, technically. This one, four spots available, says very similar to this. This is just moved to an empty spot. This is swap two cards. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Easy enough? Yes. All right. So that is all of the immediate actions when we alternate taking turns. So again, step one, plantation stuff, get resources or get tea as well as movement or more tea based on that, move it over to that side. Step mm -hmm. two, roll them bones. Step three, start placing dice. And we've already covered those three boards, right? Yes. All right, so now moving on to the stuff that will actually wait until the end of the round. All right, the, that is going to be the harbor board Next. So the harbor says you must place two dice up to four dice total, and they must be consecutive number, and you're going to place it. This is to claim a ship for the end of the round, because ultimately that is the trigger for the end of the game, is completing three, four, or five of these ships, right? Yes. So how does that work? Well, let's say I went ahead and I said I really like the Thermopylae. It was a hell of a battle back in ancient Greece, so yeah, I want that ship. Plus, it's worth 10 points, but we don't need to talk about that. I must place two dice up to four dice in consecutive, in a, in a run, if you will, if you're familiar with Rummy or Jin or whatever. All right, so there. But then, when it becomes Jess's turn, she might be like, yo, dog, I hear you like dice. Boom! Uh-oh. She goes on there. She displaces my dice because her run is bigger than my run. Mm -hmm. Both, it, it, it's, it's numerically superior. Now, once dice are placed, they're normally locked down there. But once there, there are two, both players have placed dice on there, kind of the game pauses for a moment and we're going to have a <sighs> naval battle. All so, right. how does that happen? All right. Well, one of two things will happen. I either concede, your dice are way too strong for me. And if that's the case, then I can say, you know what? I'm going to go to a different ship. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with the challenger. I'm okay with that. That's fine. It's seven point. Yeah, I don't want to waste more dice on it. Or, if I don't like that option, I can add to my run. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. Somebody's bigger. <laughs> so... <laughs> now, it's back to Jess's. Yep. Do you want to? She says, ha ha. Boom. Well, this is not going how I expected. All right. So if you get the idea. You can go up until there's four dice. Okay. Um, I could go to war, but finally I just say, you know what? No, nope, uncle, I'm going to take the flying fish. Done. That's where we end it. Yep. And then it becomes the next player's turn. Okay, mm -hmm. simple enough. So yeah. that, and then we'll, we'll talk about what happens with these here in a moment, but that's the actual when you're placing dice out there. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, excellent. The next and final board, dun, 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 which is the production board. So the production board, you'll notice there's a lot of equal signs. It works somewhat similar to ships, except that is going to be, say, something like that. You must place two to four dice out there. So if that were the case, okay, cool. If Jess comes along and she says, hey, I'm gonna come out here. Well, her dice are lower than my dice, so therefore her dice will go below my dice. But let's say she went ahead and did boom, like that, that is bigger than my number. Or 
Or, let's say in lieu of that, she did something like this. Well, three's bigger, uh, trips are bigger than a pair. Whoop. Even though they're lower value, there's still, there's more dice, so she would be on top. Why does that matter? Because this five, three, and two is going to be team movement at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Yes. So those are all the available actions that you can take. Now, the one thing I do want to point out is this is in a single action. This is a battle. So this will is an immediate back and forth, back and forth until one of us relents. This is, okay, if I had placed these fives out there, just then place three ones all at once. She didn't have to do that right away. She could have done that on a, on a subsequent action, whatever. Whereas this, the back and forth here on the same card happens immediately. Does that make sense? Yes, it All does. right, good. All right, so with that said, that's all the available actions in the game, okay? So at the end of the round, when we are done placing all of our dice out here on the board, let's say that, and let's say I'd gone there, and maybe I'd gone there, we'd taken cards, we'd done stuff, all of this. Okay, mm -hmm. boom, we're out of dice. Then these resolve. So I would get this ship here, and I would choose to either place it there, there, or there, one of those three docks. Jess, however, now these six spots or the bottom right spots all have the deck of cards on them like so. What does that mean? That means whenever you take this or this, you get to look at the top three cards, choose one of them, and then put the other two in any order and put them back on the top of the deck. Okay? Yes. Pretty simple on mm -hmm. that. So, but as it is, Jess might want the Thermopylae over on one of her docks as well. Any T that is on the, on, the, uh, on the dock will fill the ship. And here's the key. A ship will immediately, quote unquote, set sail when it's full. And you cannot choose to not fill a ship if doing so would allow it to set sail. So if you have T up here in the docks, it has to go onto the ship. It's pretty, pretty simple. You can't be like, ah, that's a, I'm saving that's a that seven one. pointer. I want to save it for the yeah. 10 pointer. Nope. If you have it and it can set sail, you must. And if you ever choose to get a fourth, um, a fourth ship, while well, there are already three there, you have to discard a ship and the T will go back onto the port pretty or onto the dock. Yeah. Rinse and repeat, do that however many times it takes for us to complete three, four, or five ships, and that's try T for two. Any questions? No, that All was right. fantastic. We got New York City in the house, Netherlands. Hi, Christopher and Renee. I love hearing people all over the world. Oh, it's, it's so that's surreal awesome. to me. It's completely surreal. So now they need to chime in, right? Three? Yeah. Uh, so how many how many ships do you want us to do? Uh, three will be about a 25-minute game. Five will be about a 45-minute game, plus, obviously, interactions with y'all. So, so pick your ships. Yep. Pick your pile of ships. And, and we can go ahead and talk about the characters that we chose. You want to do that? Sure. I want to answer Jonathan, too, because that was the reason for that little bubble interlude. I was trying to answer Jonathan, who was asking if uh, the poor was the purple. Yes, the poor is the purple. All right, so here, let, let's, you can barely, here, let's bring these down a little. What? There. Now you can see all the different tea colors. Let's go over what those are. The green is? Green! Hey! The Blue is arguably my favorite out Oolong. of all these, which is Oolong. Yes. And then the purple is Poor. I haven't had Poor. Have you had Poor? I have. I have some that we should give you some. Yeah, I've never had it. I've heard it's really good. And then the white is white. a shockingly white. The black, again, black. Tea. black. And the yellow is... Yellow tea. All right, there we go. All right, now, our characters, we did not choose this at random. They are double-sided. There's an A side. The A side, all it means is you get one point per T that you have left over at the end of the game. We Yeah, okay, a cool. specific T type. That's awesome. The B side is the quote-unquote advanced side. And this allows you to uh, use that action, that special action, once per year or once per round, if you will. So, um, yours, Jess, 
is the white t correct? Yes. Yeah, so I get add or subtract one pip to a single die. All I right. I get to do that once per round, and I'm, I think that'll be for free. Now, useful. one thing I did not mention also mm -hmm. is you can always discard one t from anywhere on your board to adjust the die. One pip, plus or minus. Sixes become ones. Ones become sixes, depending on what direction you want to move it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does that yes. make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So that is your special ability. My special ability is I get to movement. To move T tokens upward in T plantation. Now, I said upward, and the rules do call that out. Like, there's no reason you're ever not going to want to move it upward up towards the it's ship. It's very clear you're going to the ship, yeah. Yeah. So, looks like four, one out. So, four it is. Um, yeah. Oh, and these dice trays are ridiculous. That's what we were saying. The prototype's incredible. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. <laughs> yes. Um, the first player token actually is in, what, what do you call it, an enhanced one. The one that comes with the game is a, is a cardboard There's cutout. a cardboard token here. Yes. So, here you go. Um, which would you rather have? Yes. But just, just to call that out, that was uh, so. added that they sent as an aside. There we go. Okay, yep. and the enamel, you can see it nice and pretty. All right, but you know, we got it, so. All right, um, you wanna see who goes first? So, uh, chai or ship? Ship. Okay, hold on. Sailing off to Boston. Yep, all right. There we go. We knew it. We will put that there. There, uh, I, I probably ought to go over what these are as well. The the special uh, the special cards and as we well before we get started. Hold back. on, we have to do that. We have to do and that. And do we have all seven pointers out right now for ships? Uh, there's a ten. The Thermopylae. Okay, there, there, there. I think. Oh, I probably shouldn't start with that. There. Oh yeah, and these little containers. While can be a little hard for somebody with larger hands to pick up, or you could just throw them in dishes, but again, we're just trying to keep it thematic. I had right? no trouble, but you do have larger hands. You do have sweet have tiny, girl yeah, hands in no that shape. regard. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's go over what the uh, cards are up there, first off, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we have, I think, I think these are all very similar. They're, they're worth, uh, they allow a movement of a purple or a black tea, yes. or the poor, sorry, tea or the uh, black tea. The um, crate one, sorry, is if a tea token is in the space that that's adjacent to, you then move it over onto that, and if it's full at the end of the game, you get that amount of points. If only one side's full, you get that amount of points. Pretty straightforward. So if you only have a blue tea in there, be worth one point. If you have two yellow, uh, sorry, the yellow is, yeah, yellow tea. Uh, then it's worth three points. If you have them both, it's worth four points. Pretty, yep. pretty, pretty straightforward. Yep. The blooming tea one, which is Aww. that one right there, uh, you get points at the end of the game based on the number of blooming tea cards you have. Now, they are not cumulative. Okay, so that is one, three, six, ten, and for every additional one will be two. That does not mean each card is worth ten yeah. points. That means a set of four total is worth ten points. Yep. Okay, there we go. I think that's good enough to get started. Don't I you? agree. Um, and uh, last thing, well, one more thing. Let's take a look at your board here, real quick. Sure. All right. Notice the movement of everything. So this area right here is just kind of, you can't move up across this area right here. They have here. put a fence in, in that little area. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. So white T, let's follow the path of white T. White T from down here can only move up to this space, yep. then up to this space, then up to this space, then onto the dock. Purple goes up the left side, comes over, and then can come up. So you do have to go that way yes. for purple T. Now we have identical boards, but I'll go ahead and show you all this. So over here on my side, uh, there, you'll notice that the, the heavy white lines, what that means is when, for instance, a yellow T will move up from there, up across there, it immediately oxidizes. And then it either becomes a green or a white T. Your so choice. I would have, exactly. So you know what, let's go with, a white T there, boom, and then it can then 
cross Still up needs as movement, movement. But it can move up. There you over. go. Yep. And follow the lines over here based on what it is, etc., cetera, et cetera. All right. Just showing that for variety's sake. Mm -hmm. The think. oxidized side of the board. There we go. I think that's good enough. So you won. Um, Did so, I? I already won. Well, you won the first play. Easy. <laughs> See, I have a chance today. I'm not going to put all my tea in one basket, yes. as it were. Lessons right? were learned. And Steep Game says, can confirm we'll be making those heavy white lines into pure, uh, pure colors, like a metro line, just to make it more clear. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Good. All right. By the way, is it Dan or Connie? Who do you think it is running their account right now? Honestly, they're such a good team. I it's think that's both. either, but it I depends on both. who's working right now. I know they take turns like whoever's because they they still have full time jobs. So I I'm gonna guess Dan. I that uh, truly that's, that's <laughs> my guess as well. All right, so that said, um, okay. Uh, so step one, choose where to move our T assistant. Where would you like to move them? One, two, or three spots starts down there, so it goes to the six, the five, or or. Or, 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 the four. I want, hmm, and then those are coming up. So I really want that. I'm formulating my plan. <laughs> Trying of course to, you are. I mean, this is what we do. I think. Therefore, you are. Well, that's interesting. Isn't it? It really, really is. I'm just, I'm just. I'm going to go with this one. The five? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we each get a black and a green. So I'll get the blacks, black tea for you and I. You get the green for you and I. All right, thank you. All right, and it starts down here at the bottom. Okay, cool. And then, now, we have to choose. Do you want movement or do you want more tea? Oh, and you get five points worth a T is one, a movement is one. Can Choose you, what you want. Can you mix, mix and, and match? Mix and match. It just cannot be uh, multiple of the same T. It must be different T, though. I'm going to take a white and a yellow, and then I'll move with the rest. Okay. So they must be unique, but they can be green or black, because these are separate things, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay. It does. Uh, all right, and now, so that's two. You have three more points worth of movement, if you want. I'm, and, and, and again, can I only touch one once? Like, can I No, no, you once? can ha follow your heart on this point. Oh, I don't know if I'd do one. that, though. <laughs> two. So that's four. You got one more, either another T or a movement. A movement. By the way, uh... Uh, say so, haha, it's both of us. Dan, Connie's teaching right now, but home uh, with black tea. All right, so that's your <laughs> five. So I have my green and black now, and I think I'm gonna load up on tea actually. So I will get a poor. So that's one. I will go. That's true. If it's Connie, it's Connie plus because Connie is. Is expecting. With child, yes. Congrats, yay. Are we uh, pulling up? You didn't pull up the camera, I don't think. Oh, I did. Oh, shoot, I did. Hi. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, I got too focused on the game. It's uh, okay. Hi. Here, scooch. Are you? I are, shall. You I will scooch. That's good. All right. If I was smart, should have switched sides because left handed, right handed. Yeah, we're doing a lot of this, right, but that's so. all right. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I got two T's. So well, you're far. deciding that. I'm going to talk to them so you don't have to quit. Okay. Um, yeah, so like when we, I don't know if any of y'all do this. When Three. we go to a diner or to a restaurant, we always get a booth and we always sit next to each other versus the across thing, um, but never on this side. So we're mm -hmm. very acutely aware of so if his left arm has to be So unfortunately, does get this. stuck in a corner because left hand. Sometimes, handed. or I'm on, the, but as long as we are, we have to not. Yeah, I guess be I like do. This. I do sometimes get <laughs> sometimes in. Sometimes yeah, you go yeah, in, that's true. but we have to make sure uh, we're not this way. So that was three. Four, five. Boom. Done. All Dang. right. So now the five will flip to the farthest clockwise. Boom. Yep. Done. There we go. All right. So that's step one. Step two. Roll the dose. These are nice dice. They really are. I like what they're made out of. They're just like rounded corners too. All right. So there we go. Okay. Cool. Don't forget about your special ability you can use once per round or once per year. And now 
we get start placing dice. So you're the first player. You get to place one or more. More would be over here. One for any of those spots over there. Huh. Ooh. All right. I kind of want that. So I think I will take that right away. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, that's fine. It, here, if you want, I can, I'm happy I to I will help. ask you to okay. help when I need help. Thank you. Well, hold on. You didn't ask for I help. need help with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing it. If you do it, I'll, I'll take it. So now I'm going to place this here. And it triggers immediately if it can. Yep. There you go. Boom. Done. And does it flip over? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I, I was just testing her. But yeah, it doesn't have the little flippy over symbol. Flippy over. That's the Universally technical term. Universally called the yes. flippy over. Um, it doesn't right. get tapped. We can say tapped now. It's so exciting. Oh, is that like done away with now? I told you this like two years ago now. It's super exciting. Well, Jess doesn't have any poor tea. I do. And neither of those. Oh, that's so tasty. Okay. Unfortunately, I have really high numbers. I have multiples. Man, that's frustrating a little bit. Really? Remember, you what? can always discard dice. I'm sorry, uh, discard T to adjust your dice. I got a lot of purrs. Um, yeah, I think I will. So I will go a four there. And I will take this one. And that one, yeah, let's go ahead and throw that bad boy right there. So that immediately triggers. Boom, done. You're up. So no matter what, you can beat me there. Um... Stop it. Okay, don't do sorry. that. Because that's going to make the game go longer. Right, we don't need that. <laughs> so let's not do that to each other. Um, I... Do I want the Dartmouth or the Challenger? Do, 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 do. Uh, there's two of them out there, so I don't think you're really going to fight me for them. Oh, the, the identical. Yeah. Well, not really. One's this going east, one's me. going west. So the interesting thing is... Can you see my dice? So that's a pair. That's a pair. Um, and this is a run, right? So even though I don't think I need to go this high on it, I'd also kind of like to keep some pairs to potentially get some movement up there. I'd really like some more tea. That takes anything over there, right? Like I can just put it and take a tea. That's yeah, good. yeah. It's any one tea over so here. So that on leaves the me board. some yep. flexibility because it doesn't matter. Our harvest what I board, sorry. Kind of discard over there for that. Um, Cards seem good, but those cards aren't really helping me right now. If I went there, the six, but I don't have a six. I'd have to use this. Or discard a T, remember. To get a six. Yep. So that might be actually do that for a six. To see what I can get for cards. All right, so that's what I think. I'm, I'm talking this out so much. I understand it gives you a lot of... Uh, you're fine. Knowledge, I'm not. But I'm, I'm trying not. to you're fine. You're, show what's not, going you, on. You know for, that's not how stop I'm talking over me. <laughs> just saying, that's not I what know I'm it isn't. I'm saying for them, um, so that you all can see what I'm planning. Um, all right. So uh, this is what I want to do: is get up there. That just leaves this guy, though. What can the three <laughs> give me? No, I mean this is what you're doing. I know. Um, it would give me that for a future thing. No, I can just get rid of that for tea. Okay, so this is going to go out for, I'm going to ask for your help in reaching it up there, the challenger. All right, so there we go, and that's fine. Remember, it's only a battle if I actually choose to place But if you did, there. I'd go to the Dartmouth, and that would be right. settled, so it's, so it's yeah, not really yeah, a big so, deal. So, eh, probably not going to mess with that. That said, um, I like team movement. So, since I like team movement, yeah. I think I'll go ahead and throw those fives out there. I now, had a feeling. Now, here's the thing. With that said, 
I just have to look at Jess's dice. This is open info, right? Yes. And it's not... You know I, I can't. Exactly. I knew I couldn't. Right. There's not much I could do. You and, also have the sixes. Right. I wasn't going to beat you right. on that. And if you, if you threw out the fives, if you change one of these fours to a five, if it's the same it's amount, you. It, it's still under because I was there first. Exactly. But so strategically, if I'd switch this to fives and put it out there, you could have put your sixes and you still yeah. get the five. So I was like, yeah, I'm yeah, not beating not you over right. there right now. And that's okay. Um, so I'm not worried about over there. I can save these pair to get my three movement if I want it. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use this gentleman right here. Oh, I don't... J just tap, tap it. it. <laughs> tap it! Like we just said, I'm going to tab him. That makes this a six. And that is going to go here. And that is going to give me Top three. three cards. And I decide, and then I put back. And these are supposed to be face up like this, just FYI. So obviously you will see what the what the four cards are, right? The top three that Jess took plus that one. I am 100% going to take this one because that gives me some heck of good movement. I don't care about blue, you do. So I'm going to put them back like this. Okay. And, and then, then we have a new type of card. Silver so Needle. All right, so. Go I'm going to activate these two up immediately. Uh, 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 oh, is it a choice? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. No, no. It doesn't say a choice. This? Yes. Has to do with this area. Oh, it doesn't this? have to do with that area? Well, there not as good as I thought, but I'll do that. And then this actually flips. It does. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yep. All right. So that was her die there. I think I will... I hate wasting the high value dice. Um, but I think it's too valuable for me. I, I think so. So I'm going to unfortunately, uh, yeah, I'm going to bink. Actually, uh, can I back that up since you okay, just sure. informed me of that? Sure. I'm going to leave that there. Okay, yeah, don't worry. Because then they'll both do. No, there you go. Yeah, that makes yes. more sense. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, that's okay. So there we go. I will have some. Korean Tokcha? I, I am Ooh. unfamiliar with this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep it up there. There and that bloop over there. Nice. All right. That's you're a up. good one. Um, all right. So I could double up and get three movement. That doesn't seem bad. Yes. Three of a kind trumps pairs. So, yes, silent love. One, two, and three would be super good. Yeah. I'm going to do the three movement over there if you can help me out uh a moment um apparently um we keep sliding over to the left so you keep getting out of shot so i can't pan that camera unfortunately but i did widen it a little so there's that how's that that's better all right so what are you doing sorry if you could put that up oh. for three movements yes ma'am there we go all right uh and I don't necessarily need a ship, but I do think I want a ship. Um, but I have to discard a T to do it. I think that's okay. Is it? <laughs> I, oh boy. Um, you know what? I am. I'm going to... Am I? <laughs> uh... One thing... Uh... Here, uh, one thing I should be clear on uh, that I'm not sure I was at the end. Uh, at the end of a round, if we haven't reached the end of the game, we restock the market. The di uh, the lowest value die. Um, so, uh, so, so here actually, Dan. Question: Does it mean that if there was a card in that spot, it would discard, or does it mean that this one discards? That one I'm not sure on. Outside of that. We then will slide these over and refill from the deck. Mm -hmm. The ships, we will obviously clear out any ships, but otherwise those don't disappear. They hang out. Yeah, so yeah, it would be good to know what's disappearing. Yeah. Um, so with that said, I don't really love those cards that are out there. So you know what, though? I will do this. 
I will take this one. I'm going to put that at the bottom. Done. You're up. Um, okay, so do we know what's discarding there, and does anything discard for the Nothing ships? Nothing discards for the ships. Excellent. Sixes and ones wrap, so they're... Can, right, okay, sorry. Um, I'm going to put this here and get a black tea. I forgot about that. You can do that. Right. Um, mm, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um... So, I have double ones. I could change uh, a one to a two to be able to grab a ship. That would cost me a T. I could put the ones here for two movement. Or I could get two T. Or I could change, uh, discard a T, change that to a six, and then be able to place it on the four to be able to grab that. But I really don't want that card. Um, card of the lowest value that still remains. Okay, so that one's going away to answer your question, okay? This one's going on. Yes, because it's the lowest value still out there. Thank you, Dan. Um, you know what, though? Being able to move, oh, that's kind of, oh, that's kind of fun. But I'm going to go one here. I'm gonna grab a poor. <laughs> and then I am going to go here and I'm going to grab a white T. There we go. Done. All right, that is all of our actions. We're obviously all out of dice, and obviously I had dice left, so Jess was just hanging out and looking gorgeous. So uh, all of those are done. So now we activate these. So Jess gets her ship. So these can just come back here. Congrats. You get the challenger. Now you must choose a port. I mean, right now I don't think it really matters, but all right. Uh, and then I will get five movement. J-Rex will get three movement. Okay, so five movement. This will be one, two. That's free. That's free. Uh, three, four. Check that. Three, four, five. Done. So, Jess, you get your three. One, two, three. And now this will activate, and I will flip it, but these go boop. Yep. And then this one activates, and this goes boop. And does not flip. Right. Not there we go. All right. So, that is. Uh, production boards, so the, or uh, sorry, the harbor board and the production board, both of those have been resolved. Now we check, did did each of a, either of us complete the fourth ship? No, fourth ship individually. It's not four between us. It's the first one. It's a race to four. Understood. And now we restock. So if we haven't, your workers return to your merchants, i.e., grab dice. I have long arms. I'll have you sort if you would. There we go. There we go. All right, and now, as we mentioned, boop, that will go to the bottom of the deck, and then yep, you have short arms. Never mind. Sorry, thank That's you. Okay. I just have to reach. Thank you very much. Four, five, and. There we go. We got something interesting coming up. All there. right, uh, which one? The oxidation. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and talk about that because we haven't. Uh, well, let's finish this first off. Oh, of course. Um, and then the harbor slots. Um, it really doesn't matter the location of where they are, so the thermopylae can just come out here because there's no difference nope. between the location. Ooh, the fiery cross. All right, and then uh, switch. I'm going to switch it to the year or the tier. Yeah, that makes sense. And I think I that's fair. I like that. Shipper. All right. Um, what were we going to talk about? The oxidation, right? Up there? Uh, it changes T tokens into the other T tokens shown and then move new T tokens up one space. So black becomes blue, blue becomes black. Okay. Okay. And I believe that is vol. No, it's oxidation. I believe that's mandatory. 
black becomes blue, blue becomes black wherever you place it, and then it flips and then it moves up one space. The others, I think, uh, I think we've already covered what all those do. So there we go. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so, a moment, more chai. I have a question. Mm, mm, oh, mm. I'm sorry. Thank you, I, I realized that. I didn't go there. You're up. Okay. Um, shoot, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, I was planning ahead like you were going to be the first player. Now I get the choice. This is well, great. Well, first off, T assistant. Okay. So if this goes over here, so for example, if there's multiple of these in an adjacent thing, if these two were right here, does it activate both of them? It activates uno. All. Well, one. technically it would activate the, ha! Ah, is who? it all or one? Because it doesn't flip over, yeah. it would be all of them, I think. The one that flips over is a single. Oh, shoot. That's a good question. Well, Dan or Connie are right yeah, in chat. They can fair. answer. That's Does, a good point. So if I had these two right here, would it activate one or all? Now, if it's a flippable one, they can chime in and make the... Then that, that's only Does one. Does that mean it's just one? I just want... Yeah. yeah. So all there's right. an opportunity to clarify that. Um, you didn't use yours, so you're fine. Oh, shoot. Hold on. What's wrong? I will have used this. So here. I forgot about that because why wouldn't I? I don't know. I didn't know. There. Okay. So there I used it, now those reset. There we and go. now those reset. There we go. Yeah, okay. good call. All right, so T assistant. So I get to decide where this goes. I definitely don't want to give you more purple. It activates them all. That's, so it, it looks like all. it. Yeah, I, fair enough. The iconography made that look clear. Now, so this still would activate all? Is that what they're saying, or is that? I believe so. All in That's there? That's fancy. Lizard finger yes, girl. Yes, I know. That's I fancy. don't need your little tools. I am the surface of the sun. So seriously, yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. They're producing that tea, so yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. So they're not going to just say, "I'm going to take the one leaf," <laughs> right? It might so be a special leaf. All right, okay. seriously, tea. So assistant. that's Go done. Um, where do I want to put him? I can get a green, and so I could actually get a green and a white, which is not what I was anticipating I could get. But you would get a green and a white, and then we're going to go head to head on that. Thermopylae. Thermopylae. Yep. Um, but I'd like a green. And otherwise I'm giving you purple. But you have a lot of purple and it, there's only the one ship right now. So maybe I stick with what I was doing. And I really, I'll just get my green another way. And do I want to get a yellow? I do. And give me, oh, but you have movement. I'm just talking it no, out. These are, these are the decisions in the All game. All right, so the two. So we each get a poor and a yellow. And by the way, uh, Dan says uh, it activates them all, but if you had a flippable card, it's one unless it's the same movement action like at the start of a turn. So uh, you're flippable. Unless they were both there, you would only move one. If they're both there, you get to, like what you did, basically. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so what is it? It's a... Purple and a yellow? It's a poor and a, poor a yellow. And a yellow? Oh, Yve. Help. Thank you. And then uh, two, uh, movement or T. What would you like? While I grab that, and that will come. Gosh, right I'd really there. like to get these back up there. There we go. But I need. Have a good one, Renee. A white, so I might, and it's interesting that you're not rolling first here because depending on what I have, do I want tea? Uh -huh. So this is a really interesting decision. I just want to point that out. So I should get the white I want, and then maybe move, or do I move two? But I don't care about that green. So I'm going to get the white, and. Move the yellow. All right, I'm getting a green for one of the two. In theory, there we go. And I'm gonna move said green. Boom, done. All right, so that's done. Now roll them bones. Huh, all right, what do we got here? Hello, hello. Uh, 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 uh. 
Uh, huh. Interesting. All right. All right. Hey, Brianna. All right, so your honor. I guarantee you won't be first next turn unless you take that spot, because I damn sure am. Lessons were learned there. I don't mind. You know I never fight over first player. Um, I'm going to go with... You have that too, but I would be there first and I can beat you. So I'm going to start with this. And... Oh, gosh, you want that, too. Hmm. No, you want that. Mm, yeah, you want that, too. Shoot. But I don't care about that as much, so I'm not going to let myself get distracted. This Squirrel! is going to go... Yeah, you really want that. Oh, this is interesting. I can make you fight. This is war. Good God, y'all. What is it? Do you good want that? For? Well, then <laughs> it costs me three dice to grab a ship, and you'll get. Well, it costs you four, though, to get it. Yup. <laughs> I'm good with that because it costs you the extra die. Dang it. Is that what you want to do? You know what? No. No, no, no. It is not. Let me back that up. You don't want to force my hand. Do you, back that do you up. see how many that's going to cost me? I do. Oh, you can go lower. Oh, no, you're going over there? Yeah, I'm going to take You that. know I don't want that, right? I don't care. Okay. There, and that will go there. All right, you're done. Interesting. I can always battle you later. <sighs> Keep using your dice. Ooh, that sounds fun, Rocky. Uh-huh, I see you. Done. Your turn. should have fought me right away. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay? Oh. Is that right? Oh, I think so. Okay, let's we'll see. Uh, I had a plan. What was it? Right, it was this. Uh, I'm going to go there to that spot. Now, remember, that spot, that triggers immediately, right? Because it has the lightning bolt behind Jess's right there. So that means I can swap the, uh, two cards on my player board. So we will go... Oh, hey, looky there. That activates. Whoop. There. Done. Your turn. Yeah, that's a good one. It doesn't matter which one I use. Oh, it probably does. No, actually it won't. Nope, so. it doesn't. Um. Yeah, right, Jonathan. What was that about sure. not fighting for first player? So, okay. All right. Here we go. So what happens if I do the four? We now match. I was there first. Okay. Um, that's fine, because I never wanted that card in the <laughs> At all. 
ever. I don't want it, but I wanted him to use three dice for it. Uh, Which well, is why he actually should have fought me for it in the first place, because I just would have moved and you could have gotten all that other stuff, but including the first player. Well, so be all right, all right, all right. You should know me better than that. Yep, I wanted the Dartmouth. All right, well, it's your turn. Yay, I have a die. I will, hmm. And remember, this flips anything, all, all of them face up. Obviously, it's only one, but yeah. Yeah, um, but I don't need that one there. The other one is. But this, I want to move a card. I know. Oh, but shut up. Sorry. I'm trying to talk through my turn. You don't have to do it for me. So here we go. I wanted to move this one. This moves here. And then that will move those two. Oh. Checks out. Yeah. Um. But now I still have to move all of those up into the ship. I'm just pointing that out for people. Yeah. That there is still a line. They don't automatically go in until they cross this line. Right, they're not on the dock yet, right? So, mm -hmm. there you go. Um, do I want any of those cards is the is the is really the big question. Uh, do I want to move? Any of the cards? I mean, I could bring the green up to the dock, but I'm not, I'm only getting two movement. Oh, you know what? Actually, I don't have a six, unfortunately. I really want a six to be able to grab that card. Um, shoot. So I'm going to use my special ability now to get two movement. One, two there and okay mm. yeah it's worth it I will go ahead and place one there to move this card over here and those will go up to the port mm -hmm. done all right, that's all our dice. So all of these are done. So these, we get our ships. Ma'am. There we go. And you get five movement. All righty. Well, I think I'll fulfill a ship. That'll be three of my movement. Um, you know what, what, oh, sorry, go ahead. So, one, and that has to go into a ship. Here, that way they can see it better. There you go. Two and three. That's three movements. And then Let me finish my movement yes, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I do appreciate you doing that, but you give me one second. Um, and then I gotta remember what this card is. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. And then I'm gonna do, how much movement? I get. That was three, so I have two more. Correct. I can go up and up. Have a good one, Alyssa. I'm going to go with one and one. Okay, so that is your five movement. We are done with the round. So then, first player, somebody did go there, but it was you. So, all right, keep that. Uh, this card will go away. To the bottom of the deck there and then everything will do the electric slide so that four that goes there that will come over you get the idea long arms i'm doing the best i can here thank you Ooh. Ooh, doubles coming out now note that that is this is this is a different than the one that jess had right that it shows that two poor the poor cakes there, it's two and then it flips mm -hmm. as opposed to just the one, okay? And it flips, yep. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Let's see, that, oh, we need to put out ships, right. And again, these don't matter. So the Fiery Cross and the Endeavor, two. Dabo, 
not to be confused with the head coach of Clemson, Debo Sweeney, uh, is four of, of your choice. Something. Uh, of whatever you want. Follow your heart, but, but it's, it's only, only four, four points. points. Yeah. yeah. Um, the oof, okay, these work out. That's going to do that one. All right. Oh, by the way, I guess there's one other thing that I probably ought to be clear about. The winner of the game isn't necessarily the player that completes their fourth ship. That just triggers the end of the game. Then we go into final scoring, which is your uh, yes. plantation cards as well as fulfilled ships. Yes. And if we were playing on the A side, any of those. And yes. these on tap as well. So, all right. I have picked. We each get these. Thank you. And then one point for either movement or picking. You are correct. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this bad boy over here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and use one movement point. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to grab some green tea. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Done. All right. Rolling bones. Ah. That's a, uh, that was a roll. Oh, holy Man. crap. Look at my roll. Whoop. The rolling uh -huh. gods like me today. Huh. Oh, goodness. Look at wow. that run. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, I could have a run of four as well. One, two, three, four. You and just could. Change one of them. Oh, I love for you to to spend something to move that. And <laughs> You're up. <laughs> that would be lovely. I think you should totally do that. I don't think we're after the same things. I mean, you have that. What do you have left? You have a lot of tea. Gives you a lot of options. Boy, so, does it. I'm not sure you really are going to come after me. Probably not. For these things. Oh, by the way, these will technically come up there. That's fine. Um, but I do know what I want over there. Again, you can just hedge bets with that. I am not a fan of hedging. <sighs> so what do I need? What I know I have need? to save something to maybe move a card, flip a card, and then what else do I want to do? I, oh God, you can't get that. I mean, you could put three over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and, cause I could put three over there too. That's what I'm gonna start with too. I would like a lot of movement. I don't like you. <laughs> Someone has sixes <laughs> and an extra one. <laughs> Go with your four. It'll be fine. You might want to concede for the three <sighs> movement points. <laughs> I will take the Earl White. That's not a bad one. I thought about it, and you knew I, w I wouldn't hate that one, so... That was a good move on your part. Um, I know what I want uh. there, but you really can't beat me even if I use those two. And I can add to the run. So I'm going to go... Oh, I could even use my three and four. In what language is that, Dan? Dan says, Connie says, Dabo means big ship, seagoing vessel, but it's close to sea waves as well. All right. Brianna says, man, I can't wait till one day, hopefully, get to play a game with y'all, Brianna and Corey. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is I'm the plan. Already, uh, already imagining and uh, can't stop laughing. Oh, it's going to be ugly. No, it's going to be hilarious and a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. All right. That's going to go there. This is in no way me being mean to you. <laughs> and I can add. So. I know. That's it, like a, yeah. Without even really much impact to me whatsoever, I can add to it. Wow. So it's not really. 
Wow. That one, I will tell you right now, you're not getting. Yeah, I, clearly. So you I, don't I, really, don't try. Don't, it's not going to get, it's not going to, I don't want to be mean. Don't make me be mean because that's not going to. Wow, that hurt. Okay. Um, you know what, though? Hold on. Okay. Right? See, I'm not super terrible, I don't think. Maybe I am. Yeah, you kind of are, but that's okay. Go ahead, your turn. Um. <laughs> oh, it's Mandarin. Dabo. Okay, that's what that, okay. I want to save that. Yeah, that still saves me. I need... Don't forget about your special ability. Just, I keep forgetting about it, so that's why I'm... I don't really have to use mine. I rolled so well. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, but he's he's chilling. He was like, dang. <laughs> Those were so good rolls. I need... A tin move and a flip. So what is everybody's favorite type of tea? Mine is Jen Maicha. I have discovered that. By far. Probably oolong being my second. Black, like an English yeah. breakfast, being my third. I don't need... Oh. Although, I don't complain about most any tea. Some of that stuff. Yeah. I don't like anything that tastes like seaweed, though. And I'm not a huge fan of matcha. But. That's only... Okay, so guys, look at this. This is super interesting. I was all like, I need to move this and flip it. But that takes two dice... Just to move these two up, that's two movement. Or it could just go in and get three more movement with two fives. So why am I spending two dice to do that? Why are you? And flip a card. I think I just take three more movement. And then I have this guy. So if I need to flip him down to a five to make sure I keep the flying fish, I can. Um, but you're not really. It would take you so much. Yeah, to go it's into probably that. unlikely. That it's I'm it's prohibitive for you to want to do that. Um, I really should be getting more of these cards out there, but I feel like I have time for that. And remember, those are points, right? As long as they show points on the on the sides. Not all of them do. And that's the thing is, I think you're beating me at points, and I feel like I have time for that, but we'll see. Maybe I don't. I just want to move the stuff up. So I'm going to do that. Well, okay. Uh, <clears throat> huh. Well, let's just go ahead and secure that bad boy. I don't think that was a bad thing for you to <laughs> I do. I want to make sure that you're not I wasn't do trying that. again for <laughs> it this time. So that's points on the table. It's so they are wee points. Um, like it's two and one. That gives me an extra three. I'm concerned about the fact that you're currently getting three points for those two right now, though. Um, that's two and two, but those are so much harder. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one. Take this and put this guy here. And I actually am fine with moving. Yeah, you fill, it, you fill it in the green. Um, no, I don't want to move the green. I don't have to fill it right now, do I? I uh, let me let me double check. Let me double check. Um, when, if please. a T token is in the space adjacent, that T token immediately moves onto the crate card. So you may not want to put that there. That's fine. I'll take my three points for it. Okay. I can get another green. Okay. All right. Um, well, I, I wait get. A minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, two, three. I'm getting eight movement points. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so I will. So I'm not getting movement from here. I could spend the two fours, but I think I can manipulate things to get more than the two movement I would get. This goes over, right? Yeah. I, I he set sail. My bad. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I think what I will do instead is I will place this here to go and swap two cards. So I'll swap that them. So this then moves up to the dock and that will set sail as well. Mm -hmm. So that will go there. Okay, so that one's done. That's 10 points booked. 
So that was two movement that I would have gotten, and I only used one die for it, right? Um, then... Hmm. I think, now that I see it, I th uh, One, two. Gen Micha popcorn tea? Ooh. Yeah, um, by the way, uh, there was one, who was it? It was uh, Marifel said Long Jing and Terry Souchong and Ho Jisha. Ho Jisha. I've never heard of any of those, Marifel, so um, please expound on that. That sounds really exciting. Um, anyway, I am thinking of discarding the T to grab the Endeavor 2 as well as a second ship up here with the two blue, because I have one there, I have one there, mm -hmm. and I don't, but I don't know what I'm supposed to get rid of. I have a ton of poor tea, and this makes use of movement, so I really don't want, get, want to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of the blue. I could get rid of the green, but the thing is, I don't know what I'm going to be able to get from that. So, and the two yellow is the fiery cross, but I already have the blue up there, so I don't feel like that would be efficient. So I think I will go ahead and get rid of the green. I just love the conversation happening in chat right now about tea. Gen Mai Chi is amazing tea. It amazing tea. Is. So I will then turn that into a three, uh, I guess makes more sense. Just I would bump that from a four to a five and that will go on to the endeavor. Done. All right, so these dice are all done. I've already taken the first player marker. And Jess. I get my get, flying fish. I will take the Endeavor. And we'll go ahead and put that right there. And then, on this one, I get a choice of three. So we'll, we'll just collectively take a look at this. So we have the Dabo. The Beaver. Eh, all right, the Beaver is leader in the clubhouse so far. Or the Rainbow. Now the Rainbow, I don't have any white. The poor is already up there. I won't have any blue. You have blue right there. Yeah, oh, but, but the blue no I'm already there. accounting for. So the yellow and black I already have. So it looks like the beaver it will be. So then I will go ahead and put that right back on top. That's one less ship that we are all And can I see again interested. what the other one was below? I forget. No. Stop it. I'm not letting you say no to me. All right. So seven and it's your rainbow. Although, both of those are coming out here momentarily. Oh, Anyways. that's right. Those are, well, whatever. <laughs> Jess gets eight movement. I'll do I'll that. keep track of it for you. So, here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Three Wee. left. Um... Ooh, a smoked tea. Oh my. And a Japanese Six, grilled tea. Oh my. Seven. That sounds amazing. Eight. I there are so many there's a whole world here that I have no idea about. I'm gonna have to go back through and like write this down. So I, time stamp this. This is amazing. So where are we? We're in hour 18. We're just going to go through the whole chat. Yeah, There's we no, are. Don't worry about it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so that is your eight movement. Yes. I have these two still to use if I want, and I do. So what I will do is, you know what? We'll go one, two. I think that works. All right. Done. So end of the round. We need to put out more ships. So, hey, Dabo comes out there, the Rainbow, and the Fayoum. Feyun, Feyun. I'm not sure. This that goes away. Out. You got it. Thank you, Gecko Fingers. Is that out, out, or do I put it at the bottom? Of uh, the... At the bottom, technically. I'll but, put it um, down yeah. in a second. There. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oops. I am making a mess of things here. Shoot. This is bad for me. All right, I need to get some things. All right, uh, um, so now I can move one, two, or three. So it'll be to one of those three there. Clearly, I need the green.
but the more movement could be really good. One, two, three, four, five, and that's six. I need the green. Two, four, that's six to fill that ship. Um, but remember, you could use one of the movement for the green, too. Yeah. I say that. Do you see how nice I am? I need a green. Like, I want you to pick the green I'm you. just saying to you. You know what? We're going to go and move it three, and we're going to take the six here. So we each get a white and a yellow. I'm getting it. There Thank you. Go. you. All right. And then we each get six T or movement or whatever. Um, so I think what I will do. I know one of mine is this. Yeah, I'm going to grab I a mean, green. Yeah. yeah so see, I was not being, sometimes you think I'm setting you up. I'm legit just being like, hey, look, you could this do time. This time. Honestly, always. Though sometimes <laughs> they align with me. It's fair. Sometimes right. they align, sometimes they So that's they one. Don't. So there's five left. Uh, I'm going to go. Oh, that would be good to move and flip. Five that left. Seems like a lot. One, two. Five left, two. Three. Four. Five. Done. Hmm. Okay, yeah. All right, I and then this will flip and go to the furthest spot, and the furthest spot just happens to be up there. So there you go, okay? I wanna get that one up, so okay. I'm gonna do one, two. Hey, Mom Gamer. And then I'm gonna do three, four, and then I'm gonna do five. Okay. All right, what do we have? Uh, Oh, roll. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, zoned. I was trying to base on what I had over here. And wait, we haven't rolled yet. That was an excellent roll, said no one ever. Well, maybe it's not so bad. I'm not doing a bad over here again. Yeah. This is finally, I can roll well. These dice are great. <laughs> well done, Dan and Connie. Dice <laughs> that like me. Uh, I am not upset with this. Huh. I think that's okay. Why are you so mean? That does hurt. Well, you have this, you can turn the five into a six and you'd get me. That's a lot to spend for two extra movement. So I'm probably gonna settle for the three. That five is significant. That is a non-trivial number. Mm -hmm. um, I know... Hey, Rainer! What's up? I want to get that. And I... Oh, you, what are you going for? I don't even know. I'm going for filling ships. Hmm. I'm just checking what's available over here You're in fine. the market. No, I'm just saying. I'm just talking it out. Um, those would be good for you not to get. Well, I'm going to get at least one of them. Because there's three out. Yes. But one gives you three points. Dang it. And remember, just as a reminder, this gives you the top three cards. So it's not just that one. Understood. I keep forgetting that. Okay. Yep, I figured you were going to cost me that. <clears throat> How are you getting the five and six? Oh, the five I can get easy. Yeah. Um, I actually can get the six. Oh, my. That's right. So hold on. Yeah, depending on if you get rid of a bunch so, of So, you know what? Right? I'm going to get rid of this white T to change a 1 to a 6. Oh, right. I forgot they changed all the way over. There. Good call. 
Um, Plus, that one's just pretty. <laughs> but I definitely need the other. Okay. All right. Yeah. All well, right. We can take those. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh right. Um, so here, let's go ahead and show everybody. Let's see what our options are. Uh, no, not really a steep learning curve there, Rainer. Well done, by the <laughs> way. All right, so probably going to take that. And there, ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I would have But it's that. no points. Um, but it's going to come out either way, so I'm going to go Fair. ahead. Uh, I'm going to choose that one. I think that's pretty obvious. So there we go, a little set collection action. There we go. Um... At least I've matched you on those. So I've it's now my this. turn, correct? Yes. Okay. And... It's an extra two. Is it worth it? I don't know. What I'm debating right now is either I could put the one, two on a ship that I want up there, or I could change the discard, say, the poor here, change that to a one and put it up here, which basically all, no, it really doesn't assure me of any, oh God. So, oh, there's a question that didn't come up here is indulge me here. Let's say I change the one to a two, right? Mm -hmm. Or better yet, let's say I change the two to a one. I wouldn't, but, and I put the ones up there. Then Jess puts the sixes, which would drop my ones down. If Jess then changed a one to a two. You might've noticed what I've been it, planning. And bumped it down. Would that kick my ones off the board entirely? If it kicks the, them no. off. I, it, at that point it? it's locked and you can't add to okay. it anymore. All right. So you going there prevents me from taking five gotcha. and three. Yeah, 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 I got you. But do you really care? You're definitely going to get the two. The two and three is doesn't feel so horrible. You're definitely dropping to the three. Yeah, or the to the three. Yeah, I'm going to switch uh, that to the six. You're not getting five movement points. That's a fair point. I'm going <laughs> to discard the poor, and I'm going to change the one to a two. It is my power, but this prevents. Now you get five movement points. Your turn. Because I can't yep. do that. Um, and then I'll have two dice left. So yes, I mean, it's my guy. He's plus or minus. So I'm going to That's minus, gross. which brings me to a six. I might have had that in the bag and wasn't worrying about it I a little totally bit. forgot. Well, you it's did It's funny. It I just did it. Which you just then, did it. Yeah, and I totally forgot. <laughs> that you but I made you take five dice and um, get rid of a thing to make sure you got up there. That and got yeah. up there. So, back to me. I do love me some sweet tea. Uh, huh. The fact that it doesn't give me any points, that sweet tea up there, is why I'm hesitating a bit. It's not what I want. I'm going to whine about it. I have chosen really, really poorly on some of this stuff. So what I want, I can't do because I only have one die. I want one of those ships. Alas, cannot do anything about that. So what do I do? Um, I could grab an extra T. I think I will use my ability to go and bring... Mm, That's the thing. You move. always get to move to. That is you know nice. What? I have to fight you for this up there. I will do that. Because you think. and your ability is a pain in the butt. So I don't have anything good. The sweet tea doesn't... It gives me a movement... But it's not any points. That's the frustrating thing about it. No. Yeah. That, that is frustrating about that one. But I think I'm still going to do that. That's going to be more important than the one T, I think. So I will do that. That will go there, which then triggers that to move up. And I am completely done. The world is your oyster. 
So I could use these to move and flip, and that would get these up. I'm loving the puns. So it would take two dice to do two movement. That's not bad. Um, or I can go get a ship right now without worrying about fighting. And that would be my final ship, so I think I'm just going to do that. But then he knows I'm not going to fight him on things. I don't know how you come up with this stuff, Rainer, but it's amazing. And that's a little frustrating. Corey's telling everyone, hey, kettle down, everyone. Kettle, kettle down. down. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, move and flip, and then I get those two up. Oh, this is, yeah. Oh, I'm, but I I'm, don't need <laughs> this that This is one. tense. I need the other one. So I'm going to go for the ship. That's the one I wanted. Oh, it's mine. I'm yeah, I know. It's over. All right, so that's done. So here... Here, here, let's just, while I'm thinking about it, that will go away, so there. That one slides. Okay, so now you get that pile of ship, the fiery cross, ma'am. And then, here, uh, so we don't forget, you get five movement, go for it. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay. I also will get five because of, obviously, back-to-back, -back, right? Um, all right. So what do we got? We got... Now, the, here's the important thing, and this is why I didn't move this. We don't get to see if any blue cards come out. So the question is, do I move that up, right? Um, hmm. Well, let's do this. One, for sure. Two, three, four. Five. There's that makes my sense, because, I mean, you've got two blue. Right, in case there is a blue card that comes yeah, out there. Yeah, and that just seems like the more logical. I think so. Oh, and this doesn't switch. You move that up. Oh, you're right. And that, uh, that uh, right? Obviously, well Clearly done. Clearly what you wanted to Clearly. do. Clearly. All right, so untap. On tap. Have, okay, that moved over. Yeah, I'm all good. All right, so we have another ship that comes out. All right, the Chi Long. So two, three, and four points. Two, three, and four T, respectively. And now, here we go. Uh, what do we have? First flush. We have some poor brick. And... Wah, wah. All right. Well, now we know what's up. Okay. So now, T assistant is down here. So we're looking over there. What do I want? If I went two, four, five, completes all my ships. But... Huh. And to point out, oh, thank you. We, uh, the, the, the game continues through this round. The game's probably going to end. This is going to be the last round, is my guess. I see the fur, the, I got the it. Cooper. Um, Lincoln's black fur, too. I'm going to go on to the three spot over there, I think, because that gives me five. Yeah, that final answer. So we each get there and there. And then my three, since I'm the first player, I'll do mine. I don't know that it matters a whole lot, but it might. So here we go. We have three, and that's going to be two more. So it's going to be five all day. That's one, completes that ship. Three, and that's five, and that completes that ship. Here, we'll do it like this. There we go. I'm done. And you have three movement and or T. Mix and match, follow your heart. I just need, there we go. All right, so this is one. 
Um, and I have two left. It is pretty, isn't it? It really is. I, I, I do like the aesthetic of this game. Hmm. That does... Okay, so do I take those two? No, because I'm really not concerned about it. So I think I move that. I love how serious Jess is taking this. That's awesome. <laughs> it is close. Hmm, this is so interesting. I'm trying to decide between movement and whether I want to grab more T for points, but I think, I think I have, I don't think that one point matters and I don't want to waste stuff for those. Um, yeah, I'm going to use <laughs> One for that. Okay, that's your third ship as well. And that ship still, and that just makes you nervous. And then... Well, we both have three done now. I know. And then... Do, 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 just, yeah, just in case. Um, do I pull that down? And it gives me that extra point? Yeah. Then for the other, I'm just going to take this. Okay. All right, roll them bones. Hmm... <sighs> See what we get. This roll is so important. Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. Nice. You did well over there, too. I see some big numbers. Mm, not like your quads. Oh, you could tr call them quints. Yeah, but it only goes up to four, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, okay. But that could be three and two. I'm just saying. <clears throat> That card, that card, or, oh. Yeah, that's a good one that's for you. That's worth four points. Dang. I, I got to get that one. You should. That's got to be it. So that one will come over here. Yes. That'll be the fourth one there. And I'm going to bury that one because Jess and I both could complete it right now. That's the one I was going for. Yeah. Had I not drawn that. I wanted that one. Yep. I think you could see that yep. clearly. I, 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 lesson, lesson, I learned lessons last night. So, yeah. Oh, this is painful. All right. So you... Have a good one, Mom Gamer. Chai. Bye, <laughs> Bye Mom Gamer. <laughs> All right. Uh... I mean, you could expel stuff to get up there, but... I'm thoroughly enjoying myself, by the way. Mm, me too. Oh, and this you untaps. need to get a ship, and I don't. I don't. Why? You just you trigger the game. end of the game. That's a lot of points, though. I I I know. I don't have to get a ship. All right, if you say so. I'm gonna go there. Yeah, there's just a, you're rolling better, so I can't I can't compete with that, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So with that said. There. Oh, darn. I did want that one. That will go there. That immediately goes onto that. Yeah. Done. That's what helps you. So now you have you have to put two there, though. I know. That's only oh. one so far. I understand. Oh, so as soon as you put one there, you have the choice of putting it over? No, or? you don't have a choice. It just it sucks Ew. it up. It gets shipped okay. out. I thought you had to have them when you place the card. But I always make it harder on myself. You do. That's the heavy cardboard thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Corey, I'm no match for your creativity. So that could go there and at least get me to movement. Oh, I don't really. And it's no points. I hate that. I don't like it when it's no points. 
<laughs> I know. That's where I was last Open turn up. with it. But then that gives me one, two, three. And I and suppose one, I should have been two, three, zooming in so you all could see. The oh, scented tea is worth two points up there, right? And then I could flip. It's the only one that's worth points that's left. No, it'd be better to get three for the last two over there, which gives me eight points, which is one, two, three, four. That would get them up, and then I'm just done with that. But then what else do I do with my stuff? That's the problem. I should have gone for those cards because I don't really... I'll be able to finish my ship, but I don't really have the ability to do much else. But I mean, I could I mean, just, that's worth two points. Yeah, I'm going to have to right? just take things yep. for points, yep. even though I don't need them. That's what I just came to the realization of, but that's it. I might as well do that. Even though I don't need you. Unless you are planning on I may plan to put one there. Okay. So that Understood. does need to hey, stay. You're good. You're good. It doesn't matter where I put it, yeah, but that it, works. this yeah. could be a potential. See that one over there that's white and yellow? Oh, yeah. Fair point. Good, so, good, good. That is a place I could use things. Understood. So that is not where I want it. Um, so I'm going to leave the potential for a ship. So I think I will go ahead and spend one of those twos to grab a white tea. And the white tea will go there, which... There we go. Done. So nothing else that nothing else that is left out gives me points. Added extra T doesn't give you points unless you have something that gives you points for Right, it. which again, the flip side yep. of those. That's right? one option for that. So yep. none of that actually helps me. Um, I mean, I could save myself a couple movement by getting that card and just putting it up here so when we get up here with the yellow, it moves at one. But that's not super... And, and by the way, if we end up tied, whoever has the fewest plantation cards, so I have four, seven, ten, and you have three, six, seven, eight, five, six. You have six. I, I was like, whoa, I have, no I have eight? I, okay. You have six. I have six, and yeah, so I can get some without that being a concern. Mm -hmm. um, do I need to save myself the one? I don't think so. You are going to put fives out. I'm going to put sixes out. So I'm getting eight movement points. Oh, and that's actually a really good question there, too. Um, what? I think you're right. What am I right about? You could put a set of two sixes and a set of two sixes out there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, potentially I can even use my power and make it yep. three, but I don't need to because you have those. Um, I can't, I don't have enough movement. Okay, so I think I do that. One, two, three, four. I need eight. So the that question eight. is, do I buffer just in case you somehow figure something out? Mm, I guess I do because I have nothing else I need. I don't need to flip her. Because you get points for that even if it's face down. It doesn't have points on it. Oh, okay. So well, I'm just, just going to take this one and put it here and that will just give me that extra buffer. Okay. I will, I had it, where'd it go? Right. Yeah, I'm going with that. There. Your turn. I'd like to just fight you on it just so you can't get it, because that amount of points is worth fighting you on. So changing that to a five to six, only getting five points. Oh, it's only a two point. Yeah, it's two, three, and four for the two, three, or four amount of T. That doesn't seem worth fighting you on, but I may be missing how many points you're getting on there. I'm That's not figuring it out. 10 points. Uh, I haven't mathed it. I, I, I haven't either. Which I'm shocked, honestly, that you No, haven't. I never do. It's not fun. It makes the games not fun. Um, oh. Mm, nope, because I'd have to flip it, too. 
Okay, I guess I just do that. I don't have any. I'll just go here. All right, I will go there. Get a black tea. <laughs> mm. I don't know what to do with my last one. I guess I just get tea. I just want to move. Why isn't there a move? Um, Have a good one, Corey and Brianna. Glad to hear that you're... Corey says, uh, great stream, just backed it. Congrats, Steep Games. Well I'm going to tap this, make it a six, and take it. Okay. Just to make sure you can't do something, but you can't really anyway. Um, I do have this. No, I meant right. do something with this. Oh, yeah, no, no, I got you. And that'll move up. And it flips. And this will go over there, become a black tea. Eventually, there we go. There and <laughs> done. Mm -hmm. All right. So all of these come back. There, I get the FAM. No other ships come out. I'm going to go ahead there. Bloop. Fourth ship. Done. Jess, you have eight movement. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Uh technically you have one left because once the for once the oh, yellow hit true. there, this you have flips. one movement left over. And I will just I mean yellow I like and purple. That. That, I like that. That's yes. nice. All right, that's your eight. Yes. So that's done. Now we go into final scoring. Uh huh. Let's All right. Do it. So uh, why don't we do yours first? So a moment. Let's adjust this a little. All right. So uh, well, here we'll look at those ships first. So your ships up there in the top left are how much? Twenty six total. Uh, so that is seven and five is twelve. Twelve. And then These fourteen. Ships. So twenty six total. Okay. And then your cards. Um, down here, I have two for this one and one here, so that brings me to 29 points. Yep. I have two of the Blooming Tees, which is going to be three points, so that's 32. This card is worth two points, so that's uh, 34. And this card is worth one point, so that's 35. None of these cards are worth points. So what did you 35. With? All right, 35, leader in the clubhouse. I have no idea. Legitimately no idea. All right, so let's look here. My ships coming in. That's two. Can't see them, so. That's two. That's 12. That's 17. 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, mm -hmm. and four of those is 10, uh, 42? Yes. I won. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well done. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is hot in here. <laughs> you look fine. There's a lot of lights. Oh, I'm so, so would you, oh, no, wait. Sponsor, we're not going to do it. It is a sponsor right. playthrough. All right, so there you go. So that is uh, Chai. T for two. And hopefully that showed you how this game plays, so you can go check out the Kickstarter and see if it's a game you want to back to play. A side. With another e person. Side. Yes. So. A side and B side. What else can we show? The, um, so you have A, a side, side for side. points and B side, and there's a whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, six different yep. um, little Characters. asymmetrical Met or uh, merchants. Merchants um, for that. And there are a bunch of cards that we didn't get to. A bunch of the ships. We a didn't lot of get ships to. we didn't get to. A lot of the other uh, market cards there that we didn't get to. There so go. that's going to give you variability. Yeah. So. All right. So go check it out over on Kickstarter if this is a good fit for you and your group, or you and your partner, or you and your family, or you. There is There's a, a solo. solo mode. <laughs> that is true. One or two players. So there is a solo mode if you want to. 
just mark it some tears. Or you could get two copies and have a game day with two and two. Have a tournament. Ooh, tournament. I like tea tournament. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's a wrap. Uh, I will be back this weekend. Couple solo streams. Tomorrow is... Arnak. Right. Lost Ruin Arnak, Snake Side. And then Sunday is Zaya, solo. We'll see how that goes. All right, and then Monday, uh, Jess and I will be back for the weekly look ahead. Yeah. That's it. So thank you to Steve Games for providing us with this uh, review copy. Or and technically prototype. Prototype, yes. Um, as well as sponsoring and the stream. Sponsoring so the stream. Thanks so a lot this for that. was a blast. That was, that was a, uh, yeah. So we're out of here. Uh, get vaccinated if you can so people can get away with uh, not wearing their masks. Be kind to one another. And we're out of here. So chai. Be kind. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, y'all. Happy Friday. Bye. Bye. All right, so you beat me last night. Yes. I'll take my victory today. Well, this today. was Thinky Filler, so. Oh. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Though. That was, I knew you had me. Oh, those blooming teas. Yes. <laughs>